to learn songs by dropping your crutches. Your brain is amazing, especially when it comes to learning, but learning to learn is a skill in itself. Pareto's law states that 20% of your actions produces 80% of the results. So after doing an analysis of the way I teach, I cut a lot of the useless stuff out. And here's what's left. First of all, here's what not to do. Don't think you can stick on a track and sing along to it for a few days and think you know it. I'll guarantee when you try and sing a song to a backing track or with a band, you'll come across all sorts of problems without the lead vocalist in situ. You've got to know a song in your bones. And here's where we employ a fast track blend of kinesthetic, visual and auditory processes to make the song become a part of you. So tip number one, physicalize the melody. Here's what I mean. Let's take the tune Happy Birthday and point the melody out front like this. So that's the first note. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. So you're moving your hand up for the notes that are going up and down for the notes that are going down. And try and work out if the gaps are really, really wide or really, really close together on which note comes in between the note before the note after. You can do this with any song or any part of a song to make sure you really understand it. Okay, so here's another example. This is Amy MacDonald, Mr. Rock and Roll, the chorus of, and they'll meet one day far away and say, I wish I was something more. And they'll meet one day far away and say, I wish I knew you, I wish I knew you before. Okay, stuff like that. Tip number two, find a song that you like that is within your range and capability, which also has a karaoke track available, okay? Now, um, disclaimer, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, and Jessie J are not within most people's capabilities. So do be realistic, okay? Bring up two internet uh, windows, um, both with YouTube on. On one browser, bring up the original track, and on the second browser, bring up the karaoke, so you can switch between the two. Print off your lyrics, grab a pencil, it's really important to have a physical copy so you can scribble over it. Listen to the first line of the song and then try and sing it back without any accompaniment. Keep re-listening to the first line only of the original track and try it out on your own until you've got it. Okay? Don't move on to the next line until you have. If you're having trouble really switch on your ears and translate what you're hearing to something visual or kinesthetic, okay? So either draw the melody out on a piece of paper or use your hand in the air thing that we did before, okay? When you think you've got the first verse, try it with a karaoke track and keep building up. Tip three, singing a melody is also about rhythm and timing. And if you're struggling with when the words come in, just focus on speaking the words in a particular rhythm that they're being sung. For example, let's take the song Ghosts by Laura Marling. Sung, it sounds like this. He walked down a busy street, staring solely at his feet, clutching pictures of past lovers at his side. It's got quite a complex rhythm. Um, so we're gonna try and speak the words. Okay, I'm gonna click. He walked down a busy street, staring solely at his feet, clutching pictures of past lovers at his side. Okay, now you'll notice that I'm clicking to keep me in time, so I create a kind of auditory grid, marking where the words come in in relationship to the beat. If you can't click and speak or sing at the same time, you can use a metronome instead, and there are some free ones online, so I do recommend that. If you're really struggling and cannot manage any of this, um, you need to develop your rhythmic fitness. So my advice is to try clicking or tapping the pulse of a song, and that means the beat of the song, okay? To as many songs as possible until your brain starts to connect the movement of your body with the rhythm of what you're hearing, okay?